Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekend, the Sean Malley host for this evening. Hope everyone's keeping fine out there and I hope you're not suffering with your cold chest infection just like I am. Well, what a day, what a weekend we've had at Grassroots Football. It has been non-stop for me. TXTL out and about, TXTL out and about. Um, yeah, unbelievable. North Liverpool JFL yesterday and also Walton Kirtail JFL today at Geoffrey Humble. Fantastic staff, thank you very, very much indeed. Um, yeah, it was a bit thin on the ground for the simple reason as the grass pitches were still off. Whether they were playable it remains, that's another matter. Um, we've had a great weekend of football on 3G, 4G, artificial turf, whatever you, get, whatever you call it. Anyway, brilliant and it was lovely to see um, um, Quarry Green Pumas today and um, DK. Um, Cross the Tigers, honest to God, what a game, unbelievable. 3-3, three, three, it was brilliant. End-to-end -end stuff, could have gone either way. What a battle, it was a real, real battle, I must admit. All the kids were non-stop battling and, you know, both sides and the parents, fantastic. It has to be commended to each and every one of you. So, um, well done to the two teams there today. We do know there was a lot going on at um, Walton Caretail even though it was thin on the ground and there was plenty of games going on. And what do we have? Yes, we have cup games. And unfortunately, incidents come within cup games. Uh, one manager we saw who was really having a go at the referee over the decision. Referee quite like, rightly sent them off. Um, end off and we managed to catch up with that manager and calm the manager down in no uncertain terms, to be honest. And um, it did work. After 10 minutes, it was calmed down and things then we're taken over by the committee because the committee deal with all these incidents um, and I believe me, I know Walton Caretail, North Liverpool JFL committees will deal with the incidents and that's not stating that every other committee doesn't deal with them we know they do because they have the work cut out um, but I really, really do not understand what all the commotion is at the, these times it really is, it's grassroots football and these things obviously will happen, you can't stop it, you never will stop it. It's going to be incidents regardless um, throughout. Whether it's to do with referees or parents, there was a few there today, so I know the committee have got their work cut out and dear me, on top of their own job as well, would you believe? It's supposed to be grassroots football, it's supposed to be for the kids, it's supposed to be for enjoyment, it's supposed to be that everyone works off the same song sheet, sings off the same song sheet, and works together and let the kids just play that game but unfortunately that doesn't happen parents and uh, coaches as well are just a little bit too much out of order at the moment so we need to make sure that whenever we go out on and off the field of play it's respect on and off the field of play we need to look after our referees we need to make sure that the referees are kept within the game no good upsetting our referees I did talk to quite a few of them there today, it was great, um, and majority of games went on with no animosity whatsoever, which is great news to hear. Um, but the committee deal with these things, believe me, whether you think they do and whether you think they don't, they do. And I'm not too sure whether the clubs will give you the feedback on the incidents that carry forward, um, but I know they'll be well dealt with indeed, they really, really will. So I'd love to hear from what your league was like there today. How was it? Was there something in the water in your league? Why do we have these incidents? Why do we have things going on? We need to nip it in the bud straight away. Just enjoy. Let the kids play football. Enjoy the game. That is what it is all about. Enjoyment on and off the field of play. We need to make sure that the referees are safe when they go out there. And also the kids, because if you've got Irish parents... And we're saying this time and time again, spectators or even managers and coaches irate towards the referee, then the kids are learning that as well. And that will make them open up and they will go at the referee because they think it's okay. Brother and sister, mum and dad, auntie, uncle, grandparents are all having a go at the, at the referee. So they think it's okay. So they follow suit. So we don't need that because at the end of the day, family members, I believe the role models, First and foremost, for the kids, it is all about the kids playing football. Remember that. Not 
and honestly, it's it, it's enjoyable. And I really enjoyed the games that I was involved in there today, and also walk around, and talk to managers, coaches, and find out what was going on as well, because you don't like to see any animosity towards the game. It was a real football game to me today. I was watching loads of games, taking it all in, and I had to go off to uh, Quarry Green Pumas day to day, and in a friendly, the next game, they went on to DXTLFC. What a game, honestly, they were un unbelievable. Um, they, they were winning that, you know, but two teams, well, four teams really going well together. Or count two, it was two teams playing us. It was great, it was exciting, and it was lovely to watch. Some great football. Well done to each and every one who got involved. The parents as well on both sides. Unbelievable, lovely. It really was lovely to watch, honestly. And um, the kids, I can only say, they're going to be some improved team if they stay together right the way through. Love their attitudes, they're learning very, very quickly indeed. And Honestly, we have a laugh with them. And um, we just hope little Cody is okay there. He gave 210% and he has these little asthma attacks and he looked a little bit um, unsure. We got him off there, got him to his dad at the end. And But what a game we played. Coach Cody, get well soon. And all the lads, just relax. Enjoy school tomorrow because you're going to, that's what's going to happen. You're all in school. But I'm telling you now, your mums and dads will be made up because you'll be burnt out and have an early night tonight, I guarantee you. So let's hope we have a fresh start and we get ourselves motivated for next week's game. Some good games that we've got coming up next weekend as well. And also, don't forget, it's Mother's Day. So it has to be big surprises for everyone involved in Mother's Day as well, doesn't it? It's Mother's Day next Sunday. Everyone, everyone. Make sure that your mums are all looked after. And I'll tell you now, there'll be loads of mums at the football with the hair in rollers. You see it every single year. They come to watch the kids play football and then they're getting ready to hit the town. That's what happens, isn't it? But as I say, let's just hope, whatever you are uh, next weekend, you'll have a, a really, really good time together. Honestly, mums, go and enjoy yourselves. You work all year. Very, very hard. Those lads don't. But uh, no, I'm only messing. You really, really do. So enjoy the day, your special day next week. And I'm sure you're all planning for it and where you're all going to be going now. Anyway, we've got our um, tournament, please. Uh, we'll just remind you as well. We've had interest there now from the Isle of Man. And I've got to check my emails because um, you don't get a minute anyway. Saturday, Sunday, I'm on courses. Monday, Tuesday, yet again. Um, they're really burning me out, I must admit. Part and parcel of your job. But it's been 12 months of real torment for me. Honestly, with so many courses, um, it just burns you out. I'd rather be doing football, 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 day in, day out. Watching the kids play, enjoying themselves, making sure that the referees are okay, they're fine when they go out to officiate at grassroots football. We really do. We need everyone to work together to become that family. What did he say? The grassroots football family? Family? Is it splitting up? Is it really a family or have we just got so many parts of the family in there? Please, clubs, you need to start putting your foot down towards irate parents and irate managers. Let's iron all this out. Let's have no problems. Referees are there. They're brilliant. Honestly, they, they take their time. Yeah, they make a few bob, but why not? Why shouldn't they make a few bob? They're out there seven days a week. We can go home and they're watching and they're playing and they're getting involved in games, not playing, but the watching the kids be playing um, grassroots football and they can only give what they see. Remember that, it's not the referee's fault. If they see something, they'll give something. If they don't see it, they won't give it. Don't berate them, berate them, or irritate them when it comes to a free kick, penalty, whatever decision they give. You have to get on with it, you really do. Kids want to enjoy themselves, and the majority of mums and dads, grandparents, they want to enjoy themselves too. And we had some real good banter there today with the parents and everyone else involved. It was a really good show of football. It was a brilliant game that we witnessed there today. Honestly, I don't normally talk about score lines, but 3-3, three, three, it could have gone either way. But what a game, what a game. Two teams going head to head. Fantastic. And the people were coming over to me saying what a game that was. We enjoyed it. We watched every minute up with chock a block lines, under sevens these are, honestly, and I'm so proud to be part 
of this squad of players, I really am. Looking forward to Saturday coming next week. Um, I'm sure we'll have some nice weather coming in now. Easter's on its way. And yeah, the spring apparently is on its way. Less snow, less rain, more sunshine and less pain on the sidelines because referees do not want sideline referees. We don't want the sideline referees. Committees don't either. And what I mean by that, everyone who's shouting and screaming decisions when the referee sees a free kick or, or doesn't see a free kick, they see it, they see everything. Sideline referees do not make any mistakes, I assure you. So we don't want to see that when we go out and about at grassroots football. And as I say, we're going into our tournament. We had um, interest last night from the Isle of Man. As I say, I've got to check to make sure um, these teams are coming into it thick and fast. Um, this is for August 26, 27, 28. Bank holiday Monday, the last bank holiday in August. So it's a three-day tournament and we're going to have 100 minutes, the kids will be playing over the three days of football, plus your finals and semis. It's going to be really, really interesting. And it's all the respect, DXL respect tournaments for our 20th anniversary. So we're putting a lot into it, plenty of referees. There'll be no shortage of referees, I assure you. And we want to try and get things going on the day as well. We want to make it really, really extra special if we possibly can. And anyone who wants to volunteer, please get in touch with myself now at don'ttextaline.com. We'll find something for you to do on the day. It really assure you it will be absolutely fantastic. So we're looking forward to it and we're looking forward to things going ahead this week. We've got a friendly I think on Tuesday night. Hope Jeffrey Humble have kept us involved in all that one as well. Just to make sure that we'd be paying that on Tuesday evening. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to another great game for the kids to keep them instead for the Saturday league as well and it's a game that we're playing under eights our under sevens are playing under eights and I think they're good enough and what they proved today just unreal and I think Carl Fulton he's going to be refereeing that game for us as well so we uh, look forward to um, yeah a neutral he will be neutral on it honestly because it's basically two quarry green teams or a mixture of quarry green teams and elite academy who will play us on the Tuesday evening so, as I say, looking forward to it, looking forward to a busy week. I'd say a real busy week, honestly. Um, what can you do? What can you do? It's all about grassroots football. Had a real ball of a day today. Um, results, Liverpool, unreal. Um, couldn't understand what they were doing against Bournemouth. Well done to Everton. I did say Everton will stay up. But that bottom of the league's looking really, really tight. As well as the top. Um, and teams now, we've got some tough runnings as well as Everton. Liverpool, we've got some big teams to play, so it's not really over at the bottom, it's not really over at the top. Probably the league is, you know, because uh, I don't know what Mo was doing there, Mo Salah, on that penalty. Everyone's saying now, saying, did he mean to miss it? I don't know, I really, really don't know. But it was just not Liverpool. Why they didn't turn up, I really don't know. And then the changes, I think there was five changes. I don't know why all these changes. Yes, we play Real Madrid on Wednesday evening. It, are the confidence? Are the, did he not want to get injured? There was no tackles flying in. It wasn't our game. The ball was getting passed back too much. And I don't like that game. You know, you need to go out and attack. If you need three points, then the best form of defence is attack. Not play it back all the time. And have two defenders either side of the goalkeeper. And then the goalkeeper chasing the two defenders up. What a time waste and exploit that is. It really should be ironed out. And also the failing of injuries in the Premier League as well. When the ball is going for the corner now and players are pretending if we're on the attack or teams are on the attack that they've got head injuries so the referee has to blow the, the whistle, stop the game. And these petty tackles that honestly even in kids football you don't see the referees blowing up for it. But you do in the Premier League, grown men falling over and pushes in the back. And do you know what? How many stone are these fellas? I and mean, it really, it takes that and they're really toppling over. Honestly, I can, I can't have it. I really don't. There must be loads of you out there agree with me. It used to be a man's game. What's it becoming now? I really, really don't know. Okay, women's game as well, but um, they, you don't see it with the women. They just carry on playing the football. But the men, lately, is just getting beyond a joke. A foul's a foul, 
everyone knows when there's a foul, but some of these fouls that are being given and the way the players are going over have been hit by a, a, a truck. It, it, it's honestly, it's not football at its best and the time wasted on the throw-ins as well. We need to speed it all up, let the game flow, let's take it all out, look into all this for next year. Not the sub, not um, what they were saying there, if Liverpool win a 7-0, they want no extra time. Why not? People want to, pat, fans are paying for all this extra time to be added on. Now cut it out and just give everyone a rest, let them all go home. Game's over, it could be eight, it could be nine. Let them play. This is the Premier League. If that's the case, let them go and put the added time on. Don't say no other time because the game's won. You're cheating the fans yet again. I don't want that and I don't think the majority will either. If there's five, six minutes extra time to be played and, you know, the team who are losing 7-0, whatever, they could be scoring two goals and making a difference. They could. You never know what happens in grassroots football or in Premier League football. Let's not do away with all this added time. We need that. Right, we've got five minutes of the show left. Please... If you want to get in touch with me over the tournament, 7s, 8s, 9s and 10s, maladontextalion.com, £70 per team, 100 minutes of football, Saturday four games, Sunday three games, Monday three games as well. It's the Ref Spec Cup and also the Heart of Gold Cup as well. So from the top four, the Ref Spec Cup, and from the lower four, we'll have the Heart of Gold Cup and it will be decent. Every participant will get a medal as well. So, honestly, it's unique. It's the 20th anniversary Ref Spec tournament, and we're hoping to have some media coverage there. And it'd be lovely if these teams from the Isle of Man show up, turn up, and they go and enjoy themselves in Liverpool. And we want to give every outside team, any from Sheffield, Preston, who all want to get involved, it's not far for them to come over the three days. Honestly, it really is worth coming to this tournament, and we should have bits going on as I say so get in touch with me if you're interested you have to be nominated and by that what we mean is your touchline has to be friendly no animosity towards the referee or each other we'll have the Liverpool County FA there we should have the FA there and anyone showing any animosity towards the referee or each other on and off the field of play all the committee members will be asked to withdraw their team from the competition and you'll be signed up to the don't cross the line codes of conduct on the weekend. So we want a marvellous and enjoyable tournament, everyone friendly, all the kids friendly, regardless, this is the way we want tournaments. Yes, we know it's grassroots football. Seven, eights, nines and tens, they'll fill up very, very quickly. It's the last weekend before your season starts. Also, it'll be next year's age group. So likes of our team, Club TXTL FC, under sevens they are now, It'll be under eight going into next season, so the tournament will be the team that is affiliated to your local county FA. So I'm hoping I've explained everything. And don't forget, once you've filled your application form in, then we'll accept payment for you and we'll send you the bank details to forward your payment. Because if you just fill your affiliation form in to us or sign on form, that's not enough. You need to pay up to be accepted into the tournament as well. So don't forget, get in touch with me if you're interested and I'll send you the PDF, marlotdontextaline.com. Thank you very, very much indeed to all the referees this weekend. Wherever you've been, whatever you've done, well done, get out of bed and make sure that these games go ahead for the kids to enjoy and also the spectators because without the referee, there is no game. There isn't. Show loads of ref respect on and off the field of play. Bring each other together, like Don't Cross the Line's been doing since 2003. 20th anniversary, we want to make sure that everyone enjoys it, everyone remembers it. We want to keep our referees officiating within the game. Males, females, all the youngsters, all the experienced referees, don't go away, stay with us. You do have our support and you also have the committee support as well. And we know the FA and the county FAs are stamping down on irate parents irate spectators, irate managers and irate players as well. Honestly, watch this space. It really is getting hard to um, verbally abuse a referee. Action will be taken, the right action as well. And if you want these bands coming up, could be 12, could be band time, the life, it's up to yourselves. 
but discontinue the disrespect and make sure that you enjoy going to watch your child play football. You have every right to go there so long as you go there and encourage the kids to play on both sets of teams and also make sure that the referee is not subject to verbal abuse on and off the field of play. Thanks for tuning in over these weekend show from the Grassroots Show, from myself, Mal, and Don't Cross the Line, and everyone involved in the Respect campaign, No Ref, No Game campaigns. We'll be back on Friday evening with our young commentators. I wonder what we'll be talking about. We'll catch up with the Premier League, we'll catch up with Grassroots Football. In the meantime, have a fantastic week. Enjoy work, put your feet up, relax, and we'll see you on Friday evening with the kids. Voice box, subject to me being there as well. Let's hope we get four of them this coming Friday and we'll give you the treat on Friday evening. So please tune in on DXCL TV from the Touchlands and SoundCloud with our podcast show. But you can watch us here now. We'll see you on Friday evening at 7. God like a bless.